Moni Horse Chief, and I'm going to be doing a, a cooking demonstration of Pawnee Butt Meat Pies, better known as Indian Meat Pies. I'm a three quarters Pawnee, one quarter Cherokee, and my mother is a full blood uh, Pawnee. My father is a Pawnee and Cherokee as well. What we're going to start off with today is we have, we're going to start with five cups Also come to it will be one cup of uh, shortening. About a tablespoon of salt. No exact measurements here. Baking powder, we better do a little bit more of an exact measurement. Tablespoon of half of uh, baking powder, sufficient. A teaspoon of sugar, add a little sweetness. The salt and the uh, sugar combination helps take away the floury taste of the uh, flour that can be kind of milky tasting. Next, we have our pie pastry cutter, which we just used to cut in the shortening, and you'd like the uh, shortening to come to a like a small pea size. And what that does as the shortening is blended in there into the pastry dough, it uh, melts out and gives it more of a uh, kind of a buttery, soft texture all throughout the pastry dough. Bread making is also um, known to be a stress reliever and as you see as we get to working with our dough a little bit later on you'll see why. Okay here's the texture that we have of our pastry dough right now. Little beads of the shortening are starting to come apart. And this is something that you can have um, your children. My daughter, normally she's um, nine years old and she will help me make uh, meat pies or baking and it's a good way to spend time with your family and it's uh, also teaching them the uh, importance of spending time together as a family and just spending time, that bonding time. Because who loves to better than to bake with your children and then the end result of sweets. Here we go. We have the uh, texture here, and we're just going to add a little bit of water, and it'll probably be approximately about three cups. And here's where you just dig in with your hands and have fun with it. The texture that you'll want will be to a kind of a soft and a sticky. Once you get familiar with making, uh, working with breads and doughs, there's uh, different textures that you like for your breads. Um, say I make uh, Indian fry bread, and my uh, dough is a little bit of a wet consistency. And as it sits and rises, that flour will soak up a little bit of that water and that just makes it all the more softer and a little bit easier to work with. So here's where you have fun, you just start digging in and working it around with your hands. And this is a little bit of a wet consistency right now. So that was about three cups and we just take some dust and flour here. And we're just going to really dig into it and have some fun with this dough here. There we go. Get some flour on your hands so it doesn't stick to your hands. Work it around. And you're just working your dough into, working your flour into your dough. 
Now working with the um, different types of breads, uh, that's where you can, if you're making like white bread, wheat bread, loaves, uh, pans of bread, that's where you really, uh, you're folding it in and that's where you really can use it as a stress reliever, especially when you're doing it in big batches. Here you're just using the palm of your hand to go push down into the dough and you're working it all throughout the dough. And as you can see, the uh, dough becomes a soft texture. And you just have all the wonderful aroma of the flour. Keep working it in. And here we go here. Now normally with the fry bread, you would let this rise for about 30 to 45 minutes. And, but as we're doing with the Pawnee Foots or Indian Meat Pies today, you just pinch you off a little bit section of the dough here. Keep your flour next to you handy. And you just work it into a ball. Depending on what size you would like your meat pie to be, we're gonna make a large one here. That's the size that you would pinch off. Normally it's about the size of the palm of your hand. So we're gonna set that to the side and here, I have uh, used uh, ground beef with some uh, buffalo, and then I've also mixed in uh, some bell peppers, jalapenos, some fresh yellow tomatoes from a uh, local farmer who gave those to me. And then I bought asshole, also added cilantro, onion, and I believe that's about it. So I've mixed that into my buffalo and ground beef, and as you can see, that's about a little bit of sauce, bigger than a larger than palm area. That's about, it's probably about seven ounces of meat, which is uh, sufficient for a, a serving, a, a daily serving that you're to have. Okay, here we have our dough, and I have my little mini meat pie roller here, pie roller. And you just take it and you work from the inner part of the circle to the outer. And you'll see why here in just a few minutes. This would be sufficient as you, same way as you would do with the pie crust. And I've made my the meat um, sort of a little bit oblong. And the reason they call it Pawnee foot is that that's about the length of your foot. The shape of a foot as it would be. Toes would be here. Shape that to the size of the dough. And then I have here just a little bit of water to put on the edges. Brush it all around the edges. And we have, if you have, if you would like to, I like a little bit of extra dough on my meat pie because of the dough to me is like the best part. Everybody has their favorite parts. And you get a little bit of that juice that soaks into the dough and it just makes it all nice and cute. And you just fold this over as so. And then you take the edges of your meat pie and you just sort of turn it around, pinch it up. And you wanna ensure that you do not have any holes so that the juice from the meat pie will soak out. So if you get a little bit of a patch of a hole there, you just uh, put a little, little dab of water in your finger, a little bit of flour, and you just pinch that hole back together. There we go. And there is a Pawnee foot meat pie before we cook it. Now what we'll do next is these will cook at 425 for about, I do on the bottom rack for about 20 minutes, move to the top rack so the top bakes off for about another eight minutes. And I have already into the oven and here's the finishing product before it comes out of the oven. And I will set this here and then I will cut it open. And there 
there we have a Pawnee foot Indian meat pie. And as you can see, the bread kind of puffs up from the baking powder. And then you can see the uh, peppers, jalapenos, onions, and all the cilantro, the yummy other stuff in there.